Hey what's up everybody my name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4 the gunless playthrough where we're trying to finish the entire game without using a single gun. It looks like we just had the UFO appear and that means we have uh, yeah, another point of interest on the map that we can check out. Um, but for today I'm gonna check out the uh, quest line for the railroad so that's why we're here back at Walden Pond. And there seems to be two people over there. Just set this. Just set this. I'm just gonna quickly check those out. Uh huh. I wish I had better news. It's better than no. Thanks for your help, Doc. Safe travels. So, a doctor. Let's have a little chat with her. For a small fee, of course. Okay. Um. Let's barter with her. Not really anything interesting. So let's move on. So, we're supposed to meet Deacon, the uh, handy transforming spy. Okay. Right next to the o Highway, which we're right next to, but... Um, seems like there's two raiders. Gunners, in fact. So, let's just be careful here. Oh, fuck! Holy shit, that just scared the shit out of me. Telekinesis! Psychic Blasts! There we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So that's just the one, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna zigzag, zig and zag, and then hit him in the face. There we go. Okay, luckily there were only two, which I can uh, pretty much handle at the moment. You scared the shit out of me, woman. Jesus Christ, I couldn't, I couldn't see her with the third person camera. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. But uh, that was terrifying. Okay, let's move on. So right there in the uh, fancy hat is Deacon, so let's have a little hey. chat with him. Deacon? Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. Which is creepy as hell, because it sounds like he can actually do that. You can change your face? I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. That is not normal, dude. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Okay, so the Slocum Joe's is the uh the cafe right at the beginning of lexington we've we've seen that before just slightly but uh sounds really bad that sounds really really bad it was a disaster with a capital d the survivors didn't have time to grab anything so we're getting something important we had to leave behind okay and what is that what exactly are we looking for i'll tell you when we get inside I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base, so let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. We have a tourist so nearby. Rail signs, symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never caught on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. And right there on the concrete, we have our first rail sign. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. No so shit, Sherlock. Up ahead. Let's keep going. I was gonna find it very, very impressive if you used arrows another way than that. I mean, yes, pointing in a direction is usually what arrows do. So just to let you know where we are, exactly on the right there you have Corvega. Another rail sign. Right there. With another inconspicuous arrow, there we go. So Corvée got the car factory right over there. I don't think these guys are alive. Yep, okay, so let's just take everything we can get. And, ooh, a bit more ammo. There we go. Oh, but these guys are alive. And smack. And smack. He did get a hit in. But uh, yeah, Vats Defense is doing a great job as usual. So let's continue on. Oh, I thought one more sign on the bus, but apparently that means that the bus is full of ghouls. Whack one. 
And whack. Oh, come on. Bob, be a bit quicker on the draw there. You had plenty of time to do something with that. Research test tube. That's just glass, I think. So that was actually pretty useless. Uh, but there's usually... Oh, 308 rounds. Don't mind if I do. But there's usually a medical cache. Ooh. Nuka Cola Quantum. That is nice as well. Don't see a med kit though. Which is uh, fine, I suppose. You can. You could have stepped forward a bit without me because you're going incredibly slowly. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. Mine is in the shop. So uh, yeah, a plus sign, which means a friendly fellow is nearby. Uh, and he probably killed the ghouls over here. So let's have a little chat with him and tell him uh, the secret password. Hey there. Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Well, somebody is on edge. Real world password, because if you say anything else, he's going to freak out. Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. Okay, right. then. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Okay. Um, don't take his crap. Ease up there, pal, or we're gonna have a problem. I already got problems, asshole. That little slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. That is weird, because we've been here and there were no mines and no sense, but uh, thank him. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Alright, let's have a little chat with Deacon to see what he finds about that, what he thinks about all that, and how we should proceed inside of the building. Excuse me. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Well, uh, aside from you lying to him, he's being honest, he I think. strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read, too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. Uh, fine by me. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. I feel like Deacon is uh, using me as a sort of way to make this mission a lot easier for him. Um, can we actually check out your... Uh... Ooh, thank you for your ammo. I don't think if I recall correctly that you can just drop down here, which is annoying. So we're going to have to loop back around. Because the tunnel is around there somewhere, I think. Or is it right below us? I think it's over there next to that truck. I stumbled off the highway there. Crap. So, just because of my idiocy, I had to do that again. Usually, there's a power armor suit in this train, but I don't think... Yeah, this doesn't strike me as very high-quality power armor. Or is it? God damn it. Let me get on there. Thank you. Seems like it's just normal T-51 or something. So, uh, we'll just leave that there and head towards the tunnel. So we have Lexington over there in the corner and as I thought right next to the truck we have the entrance to the tunnel right over here. So uh, let's sneak and head in. So that's actually a peculiar sound well music that they're using right now because that's institute music. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. Okay, a prototype of what exactly? Um... I'm risking my neck here. I want to know what I'm risking it for. So I'll be straight with you, although you're not going to like it. I have no idea what the prototype does. Oh, great! Most railroad agents are treated like mushrooms, kept in the dark and fed... Well, you get the idea. It's got to be important, though. Des wouldn't risk our hides lightly. Well, apparently she does, but eager Let's to go, the then. Prototype, then. Together with you? I like our odds. I do love how Deacon is so enthusiastic about our abilities, even though we're blatantly just walking around in our underwear. 
using a big stick to whack enemies instead of doing something useful. Master locked. I don't think I can unlock that, but Deacon can. Uh, and there we go. Time, you cocky bastards. Prototypes deeper inside. So from so now on, we need to be careful. Uh, this one needs danger. Yeah, we know. Poor dead bastard. We know. Ah, oh, poor Roger. Roger met his untimely demise. Sounds like there are more turrets than this one. Just gonna get all that out because I think there's already synths in this room. I think that's a broken down turret, but I think. Yeah, there is. Ooh! A legendary rad roach attacking the synths. There we go, and then whack the rad roach. Which is perfect fortifying metal chest piece. That is really good. So plus one strength and endurance is uh, fortifying. I'm actually gonna equip that, I think. But first, thank you very much for your pistol. Oh, and Maven died as well. So Maven and Roger didn't didn't really Wait, make it. See the box in the center of that rail sign? That means there's a cache nearby. Ooh. Looks like Maven managed to hide something before. Well, you know. Look around. Um, oh, this pipe is open. There we go, four shotgun shells and a bit of 308 rounds, which are actually usually pretty rare because those are sniper rifle bullets. But the chest piece. Ah, but of course we're using the Krognak costume, so the fortifying metal chest piece isn't gonna help us much there. So it's pretty much the same thing as the champion left arm, but then on the chest piece. And Grognak just gives me strength and melee damage, so I think I'm just gonna keep the the Grognak costume. So unless we find anything else, we'll uh, just keep that for now. It does seem like there's uh, yeah, there's definitely managed to turn on the defenses. We barely slow the courser down, but hey, probably save some lives. I don't think you've ever seen a courser, but they're top of the line in Institute. Let's fuck up your day tech. There shouldn't be any courses in here, but if there are, just run. So courses are a very, very dangerous type of uh, of synths, but let's check out the terminal to see if we can't, you know, turn off the uh, spotlights, which is going to be something to keep us a bit more stealthy. And I think the rest isn't really useful. Oh, wait, turret control is. So I'm just going to deactivate those because they're going to fire at us otherwise. So we do lose stealth if we do that. Hostile sensor reading detected. And I'm just gonna check out if uh, what type of grenade I have equipped. Ooh, 12 fragmentation grenades. No enemy detected. Fragmentation grenades. Well, don't mind if I do. Because I think they're all pretty much clustered around there. Is someone present? I knew you would reveal yourself. Actually. There we go. Barely hit the, the scent with my uh, grenades there, but there we go. One down and another one in the face. Okay. Oh, seems like these guys are. Oh. Oh, poor guy. He lost his arm. Ow. God damn you. He lost his arm, but he did manage to punch me in the face with it. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to drink the water, I just want to get this guy's pistol. And this guy's pistol. And this guy's pistol. All the pistols for me. And Sly Nicholas wasn't a sly enough to uh, evade, ooh, evade detection of the sins, but an excited institute pistol. I do love the, the use of the word excited there. Like a, a oh, okay, that was pickpocketing uh, Deacon there. I didn't want to do that. But uh, yeah, a laser pistol that's very excited to be used. Well, not by us, that is, because we don't use any guns. Francis Odell, there's a lot of people here that just blatantly died. God damn, since. So the spotlights should be down, the turrets should be down, and it looks like deactivating turrets just blows them up. That doesn't seem like a very economic way of doing that, but... Let's just rate that like that. And continue on our way, because this seems pretty easy going for now. And another terminal for Deacon, I suppose. Mr. Matters. We can give our friends a little surprise. Hmm. So does that mean I can actually use this? Yes. I can. So if I activate the turrets. Movement detected. Oh, wait. 
Yeah, there we go. So the thirds are now firing at the sins. Which didn't help in the slightest because the third was exploded immediately. There we go. Grenade on the staircase. Oh! I think I blew up a corpse. There we go. That gets us right into cover. That one is too far away. What about the other one? Can't see the other one apparently. Hi! Don't think he saw me there. Surprise, motherfucker. Boom! And that was the Haymaker from Bob. End of targeting. Wait, is there another one here? No. Just gonna go into stealth again. They blew up that third in seconds. That didn't take very long. And I did blow up um, Kelly K. Sorry for that, Kelly. But seems like our way forward is through this tube. And everything is still going uh, A-OK -okay for now. With our uh, trusty baseball bat in hand. Okay, so I think, yeah, this is the bigger room with... Because they can see us through these uh, gratings, of course. But we need to open up the terminal, so let's do that. There we go, open up the door. Actually, it took me a while, but... So yeah, that always triggers the synths. But if I just open up the door like this, what does that do? Oh. oh god. I think I can take this one out in one hit. <gasps> Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Come on, that's in that's in, in the middle there. He just picked up a weapon. There we go. Head removed. This one is on the floor. There we go. All seems to be basic sins, so just one after the other. Nope, you shall not. You shall not hit me. Seems to be more of them, because uh, Deacon is still talking, but um, the combat music is still going. So this place is called the Switchport, and it was used as a railroad base before we the, uh, the church. And I don't mind if I take that fusion core. Yeah, okay, there we go. So we got out of the detection range of those synths upstairs, but I think those are in a separate room, which is why we can't really uh, do anything about them yet. Yeah, there's a terminal here, but it just gives us a bit more uh, backstory on the Slocum Joes itself, which isn't really something we're looking for right now. Is there a way of getting to those synths beforehand? I don't think so. So we need to activate this terminal. But it's actually locked, so I'm going to have to uh, let Deacon do that. Come on, Deacon. Go ahead. Access the terminal. We need to touch it before you start You're doing something. Come on, Deacon. Or not. Maybe we can uh, activate it some other way. Ooh, there's a US Covert Operations Manual. So permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. We have a few of those already. Uh, and this one is expert locked me. as well. So how do we get through the door? Oh, never mind, the door is just openable. I'm an idiot, so let's just deactivate the laser. Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. I thought one of the lasers went off. Movement detected. I have detected you. Hi. There we go. Hitting sense and the weapons. And just their uh, faces battered them in because they already look incredibly bad. Horrible. Oh, that's that's a sad sign. Oh god. Wow. Ow. I'm glad you're helping, Deacon. Very glad you're helping me out there. Seems like there's another one on the left. That's a bit too far. I do like how I'm able to pretty much tank all of this. Because I was just staring at that death sin's face for 10 seconds straight while being shot at. And nobody actually really cared. There's... Aww. He had a walking cane. He couldn't stand up straight. Poor Sint. Got it. So an advanced lock is hiding just a little storeroom, it seems, with a duffel bag. Uh, which doesn't give us that much of interest. So uh, moving on. If Deacon would let me pass. Deacon. 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 There you go. You get the door in your face, Deacon. There is actually a reason why we're doing this quest. Because there's a particular piece of gear that I really want to have that is... Right here. Oh god. They have automatic pistols. 
Oh god, Deacon! 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 I'm sorry, Deacon. I really didn't wanna... Wanna hurt you there. Oh god, hi! That's one. Then let's take uh, the other ones like this. There we go, he lost... Ooh, he lost both of his arms? Yeah, we just blew up the leader really good. Lightweight laminated, laminated synth chest piece might actually just take that with me. And I'm pocketed laminated synth right arm. I just want to check if that's better than what I have equipped already. But there's a particular piece of gear in here that I really want to have. And it's uh, this is actually the first place where you can get one of, uh, well, the things that I'm looking for. I'm not going to spoil it just yet. If you don't know what uh, this all about. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're at the point of the quest that Deacon gives us his special weapon, and it's the delivery. It's an amazing gun, but, yeah, we don't use guns, so sadly we can't use this. Because it's, it's kind of a 10mm pistol, but it's immediately silenced, uh, has improved vets, hits chance, and it costs 25 less per well, 25 percent less action points to use in vats. Which is amazing because you can actually fire this gun a hell of a lot Thank God someone managed in VATS. To the security door in time. Carrington's prototype is in there. Uh, great, great for us, but I just want to check something else out because over here we have the hazmat suit. Where's that play button? Carrington, Stanley, Salas Grote, Supreme Lex. Open says me. Okay, we, you've done that already, Deacon. You're a bit, you're a bit on the dumb side, aren't you? So the hazmat suit is uh, the well. There's actually two of them here. I'm just gonna take that bullet gap mine as well. So let's just take two. I mean, why not? Eh? The hazmat suit is the first thing that actually has an enormous amount of radiation defense, which is really good for what we're gonna do later on in the uh, in the series. Uh, I'm actually gonna show you that. So the hazmat suit has a whopping 1000 radiation defense which allows you to pretty much go through uh, most of the radiated uh, irradiated areas around here. Do, did I miss anything? I think there was another area around here. Yeah, there we go. There's a few more things in here. There's a Jangles the Moon Monkey over there. But isn't there a weapon around here somewhere as well? There's a research terminal. So let's check that out. The PAM initiative is already bearing fruit. Foreign operatives report that the corrective measures employed in the Taiwan Strait region have already greatly stabilized matters after the Pascal incident. The first few iterations of PAM's core code have increased the effectiveness of the program dramatically, but without drastic actions we're approaching a point of diminishing returns. The team asks for double the funding for the upcoming fis fiscal year. With additional cutting-edge data banks, we can boost the processing power of PAM threefold. Additionally, the PAM initiative needs to be fully tapped into all military and civilian agency intelligence apparatus. The combination of these two spends should give us a decided edge against the Chinese. So PAM was a sort of artificial intelligence that uh, allowed the um, American military to just predict certain uh, attacks so there we go so the chinese were clearly because we know that from uh, previous fallout games were experimenting with stealth techs and they did have uh, fancy suits and all of that so they tried to get it up and running again right before the nukes hit but kind of failed on that accord doesn't seem like we can open up this door from that terminal so i'm just gonna have to look for an alternative to that and the solution was of course in the corner of the room so there we go, we're in, and that means, I think, yeah, bobby pins. Oh, wow. Is that it? And a few more medical supplies in the corner here, but that's... That's stupid. There's nothing in here. Okay, then. Deacon. 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 Deacon, thank you. Jesus Christ, Deacon. Stop running in the way. So, what we're actually here for is, of course, Carrington's prototype, which is right here, Perfect. right next to a uh, stealth boy. So, it doesn't really look like we know what we can do with that. So, uh, and of course, fitting for uh, the fact that we just read about the American uh, army experimenting with the stealth tech, there's actually uh, two stealth boys in the corner here. This seems like a trap. There's multiple traps in this room. On, the, on each wall, there's a trap, which is... I'm actually looking at... We didn't... Uh, we didn't trigger that, but uh, let's head out. But since we know that the, the front of the building is protected by a lot of synths and mines, we should actually be really, really Hello. careful. So there's a synth over there, can't really reach him just yet. 
Now we can. So that's one. And that's two. Sneak attack. And this one just tried to punch me for some reason. Yeah, shutting down indeed. I'm glad you're shutting down. And there we have Beatrice Bell. I think pretty much the last survivor. Well, not survivor. The last corpse we need to find. You can use this terminal to open up the front gate again. And just to uh, give us a bit of an easier time when we're out there. I deactivated the turrets as well. Because otherwise it's going to be a clusterfuck when we're out there. So activate. Because I'm actually a bit scared of uh, what we're going to do now. Because there is a lot of synths at the front gate. And uh, the secret entrance in the Slocum Joes is actually behind the bookcase. There we go. Um, I think it's really stupid in this quest that you can't actually just exit out of the back way like we came. Because now we need to head through the entirety of all those sins anyway. Uh, we do have a bit of an advantage. But yeah, it's not much. So let's head through the door. So, even though I deactivated the turrets, I still hear turrets, which is... Concerning. Concerning me. Let's open up this door. So I think... Yeah, there's an opening over there, but I don't think... I can see frag mines. Can I actually go through that? No. Because it does some sort of pathing. Okay. Maybe I can get a grenade through here, though. Is someone there we go. Movement detected? I think I killed a synth and... A turret. There we go. Oh, hi. There we go. One and two. Why are you not doing anything? Oh, shit. He didn't kill the first one, did he? Yeah. I'm just gonna go here for a second and just heal. Because that was uh, a lot of stuff in my face. Moot and hound chops. Let's just get two of those going and then it looks like yeah there's another oh he he's almost dead he just hit me in the dick you dick that was that was not nice of him and i think there's one more third what the hell was that what the hell was that there was like another synth in the way jesus christ why can't i do anything with this third okay the ceiling must have been in the way but Every time I tried to access that turret, he just went crazy. He just went crazy. Wait, isn't that it? I think everybody's dead. Yeah, okay. So now the only thing we really need to be careful about is the fact that there's a lot of mines at the exit of this place. Oof. Yeah, those guys all died. Don't think there was anything in particularly dangerous around here, but still, there were a lot of sins here. I I think we didn't. Did we kill some over there? Ah, never mind. I have plenty of ammo as it is. And then we'll try to get rid of the mines. Because I know there's quite a few mines around here. So there's one over there. This seems to be the only mine. What the hell was he talking about? That the place was full of mines. Um, Deacon, do we need to talk to you? Um, we got what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. Okay, fair enough. We made a good team. The best. See you soon. So there we go. Um, it doesn't conclude the quest yet, because we need to head back to Railroad Headquarters to uh, finish up that quest. So uh, we'll do that just now, I suppose. So back in Railroad HQ, we find Deacon in his old up, outfit his again. And blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Uh, well, go with Deacon's lie. Every word he said was true, and then some. A full hundred. I, I can't even imagine. We actually managed to do that. Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. 
Welcome so I don't know now. why that lie actually worked, because she clearly knows that it was a lie. So, kind of weird, but uh, let's join the railroad. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? The Brotherhood's bitch. Oh no, that's not an option. Um, are there more options? Suggestions? No, it doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Okay. Ooh. Well, not Bullseye, obviously, but maybe Charmer. Call me Charmer. Have you looked Charmer. at that chest? Hm. Fitting. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. I love how she's constantly smoking. What's up? So be careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. Um, yeah, especially when you just walk straight into a wall, Desdemona. Um, tradecraft completed. We didn't level up from that just yet. So meeting the rest of the gang, we have uh, Glory we'll over here. No pressure. Give Carrington his prototype is of course the next quest, Boston After Dark. But Glory, um, that's the one I already mentioned that Glory was uh, a very, very tough woman, and it's because she's actually a sin. Hi. Hey you, you the new heavy, charmer, right? Uh, yeah, heavy. What is a heavy? A heavy. Someone able to take whatever shit the Institute and Commonwealth dishes out and come back for more. So the switchboard was crawling with bad guys. Mines and shit, too. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? No, that was pretty much, uh, pretty much pretty that. Much. That's hardcore. How'd you take down the old HQ? Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. Um... Well, force mostly. A whole lot of bullets and a whole lot of blood. No, no bullets, Bob. the blood wasn't mine. Definitely no bullets. Well, welcome to the party. After what happened to Tommy Whispers, we need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. So Tommy Whispers was the dead guy we found right next to Carrington's prototype. So uh, appreciate Thanks it for inviting me. We should, I don't know, pick a cake. Cause that's what you do, right? They call me Glory, the Angel of Death. The ass-kicking poster child of a liberated synth. There we go. She is a synth. I like it. What's not to like? You're helping out my people. So some advice? Kiss up to Tinker Tom. He's batshit crazy, but he's got all the good stuff. And that is actually amazing advice, because Tinker Tom uh, holds back one of the most important upgrades you can get. So, um, good plan. Sounds like a good plan. You know it. You take care out there. Thank you, Glory. I really like Glory. She's a really cool character. Um, then we have Drummer Boy. Hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops and grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. No, 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 no. That can be an important job. Yeah, right. I can be replaced by a stupid chalkboard. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. All right, then. Not really the talkative type, but he uh, just brings messages around. Then, uh, so it's kind of the courier from uh, Skyrim. Let's open Railroad HQ. This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe. And we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. So, uh, not walking into a wall anymore, are we, Desdemona? So, I do love her walk. She has, yes, she has a very sexy walk. Um, let's see. So, maybe we should talk to Tinker Tom first, since he's, uh, right here. Uh, <clears throat> the sensor sweep says you're clean. Listen up, everyone. Hooray! This We're bug free. Is charmer. Okay. I went through a sensor sweep. Every test Des will let me run. Full EMF scan, biological sniffers, and other state-of-the-art security. So the sweep says the Institute isn't watching you. Or us. I think that's the mode that just introduced me in the background, but uh, I'm already introducing myself. Because if you have, they got you. Um, yeah, of course, I eat food. Yeah, I've eaten food. Oh, oh, oh I knew it. The Institute has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, that's rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. There we have uh, Carrington. Um, but that is 
Blood? They're in my blood? Absolutely not. Tom, we ran your tests. Extensively. We found red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. Everything you'd expect. And that doesn't get you the least bit suspicious. The results were too perfect. Too expected. And that's how they fool you. I love the good Tom. He's just a bit of a nutcase, isn't he? So, um, um, let's, let's just keep the, um, uncertain. I don't know what to think. Okay, okay. I can work with that. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. There's, there's the motor. Says no one has to, but it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? Why would you want to nuke an omelet? Um, ah, let's Every get time. the shot. Yeah, now you talking. I don't know if this is a good idea, but stab this into me. And suddenly the screen went black. Now you're encouraging him. Hey, you, you get it, man. I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever. And come back and I will set you up. Um, oh, okay, I, I, I appreciate the help, but I feel awful. I'd appreciate the help. You and me? We will team up and kick those son of a bitches out of here. Now, Sounds like my heart is I racing. Got all these ideas in my head. So building time. Quickly gonna check his inventory as well, because he can actually be bartered with. Take a look, take a look, take a look, take a look. So nothing really interesting. So let's have a little chat with Dr. Carrington. Mr. told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. By the way, Would I'm dying, nice Doctor. If she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. Doctor. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. I'm dying. I'm, I'm dying, Doctor. Can you please help me? Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Okay, Dan. Sounds like an important mission. It is. After switchboard, we're so short-handed I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. Yes, of course he did. Get on his good you can side. You with this. I'll get it done. Just don't yeah. bollocks it up too badly. I knew that was going to fail. I'm the one who has to patch everyone back together. Stop yeah, Dr. Carrington is a bit of an ass. Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Okay, so yeah, Dr. Carrington is a bit of an ass. I'm still dying, by the way, Doctor. Can you actually do something about that? Hey, Doc. I still can't believe Dez assigned you to our Yes, rescue. yes, yes, you hate me. Can you... Um... What? Well... I did risk my neck to recover your prototype. Be that as it may. Put simply, you shouldn't be here. It isn't a question of competence. It's a simple matter of security. Okay, so you're worried about everything. Um, I'm glad you Letting did. Letting me join is a risk. But in time, you'll be glad you did. We'll see. I doubt that. <sighs> Since you're one of us now, might as well try to keep you alive. If you need patching up, see me. Finally, Dr. Stuff. Um, good then. Take you I'll up probably on that. have to take you up on that more than I'd like. With you and Glory both, I'm sure I'll be kept gainfully employed. Word to the wise, be prepared to improvise. You may find your operational orders lacking. So that begs the question, does do sense normally... Does normal medicine work on sense? Since they're almost entirely human? I don't actually know. Hey, Doctor, doc, please fix me. Services. Let's see what's wrong with you today. Well, I took this very stupid shot from Tinker Tom that you told me not to, but um, can you cure me? See what's wrong with me, doctor. Now go over your symptoms for me, one at a time. Um, while my vision is a bit blurry, I can hear my heart pounding in my chest, and I'm almost dead. I'm pretty beat up. Severe lacerations, puncture wounds, muscle spasms in the eyes from high levels of stress. Yeah. Let's patch you up. Wait, where did the lacerations come from? 
That doesn't make sense. I mean, the puncture wounds, no. right? Was there anything else bothering you? Uh, no, no, I'm healthy. Thank Still you, longer. thank you, doctor. Yes, I'll stay away from Tinkatom unless he has something fancy for me. Then the last person I want to talk to is actually over here, and it's not actually a person because here we have Pam. So we've uh, read up a lot Glad about Pam, and she's actually part of the railroad. Pam. Processing. Agent. Charmer. Your arrival was not calculated. Um, well, I'm, I'm here. Well, I'm here. Preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be Pam. Predictive analytic machine. So, uh, yeah, predictive analytic machine. Um, do you work for the railroad now? Do you work for the railroad? Yes. My goals and the railroad organization have a high degree of correlation. They provide data. I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region designated Commonwealth. Rephrasing. I predict the future. Ooh, you can see the future? Can you see the future? That is this unit's primary goal. Caution. Biological life forms behave erratically, unpredictably. All output subject to an extremely high margin of error. So basically, she's pretty useless most of the time, so, uh, but still, still Even impressive. If you're wrong sometimes. That's unbelievable. Repeat. Caution. Reliance on this unit's predictions is deemed unwise. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query, what is your point of origin? Well, the vault. I'm from Vault 111, if that's what you mean. Accessing Vault 111. Cryo Vault. Believed destroyed. Conversation terminated. Pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing. Goodbye. Goodbye, Pam. Thanks uh, for talking with me. Because, uh, yeah, I really like the idea of Pam in the railroad. So that's going to be sad if we eventually have to take her out since we want to stay with the Brotherhood of Steel. But maybe I changed my mind about that. I'm not really sure about that. But uh, that's... It's, I think, for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to take a little break because uh, we've helped out the railroad enormously today and uh, we're officially a part of now the railroad and the Brotherhood of Steel. So uh, that is going to be very interesting later on. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time on Fallout 4, the Gunless Playthrough. See you next time.